don't know if you can see, 100 k's. That is an emissions light. Brand spanker. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We have bought a 2023 LDV T60. Now, if you've been following along the channel, you will know that this is my third LDV. Uh, the first LDV, as you know, the 2018 model, was full of rust, full of corrosion. And after three years, LDV bought it back off me for the exact same price I paid for it three years earlier. I paid 28,990, put almost 100,000 Ks on it, about 80,000 I think it was, and they gave me a full refund, 28,990, which they should do because that's what's meant to happen. But could you imagine having to fight any other manufacturer, Kia, Hyundai, Toyota, any other person, any other manufacturing company to get your money back? You'd be dragged through the court system flat out. Um, now, I have numerous other stories of uh, other manufacturers battling people for small warranty issues. And LDV, I haven't been able to fault it. Uh, for 30 grand, um, ticks all the boxes that I need it to tick. Um, at this point, I should become a LDV Australia ambassador, you would think. I could be the highest selling LDV individual on planet Earth. But uh, for $30,000, it ticks all the boxes I need it to tick. Now, if I was a off-road enthusiast, would I buy it? Probably not. Um, I don't know what I'd buy. I definitely wouldn't buy a Jeep. I'd probably buy a Ford Ranger maybe, um, or a Land Cruiser, I don't know. Uh, I'm not a four-wheel drive enthusiast, so. Uh, but what I do need is a versatile car that's not 60 to 80 grand, uh, is a dual cab so I can carry things in the back, uh, kids sports, kids bikes, um, has enough room in the back for the kids, and for 33,000 this one is now, uh, this ticked all the boxes. A seven year warranty, brand new dual cab. So let's have a look. All right, so let's look at the outside. Um, very similar to the previous one. Uh, so this one still has the 245, 65, 17 on these rims. So if you wanted to go a bigger tire, 245, 65, 17 isn't very common. So to go to a bigger size, you're gonna to have to change rims as well. Um, but a 265, 65, 17 is the most common size. Uh, improved front end, I think it looks very modern. Uh, I can't, I think a lot more people might be inclined to look at the LDV now because obviously we're Australian and you know, Australians care about looks and brand names more than anything else, I think. Uh, Australians would happily pay double the price just so they can look cool. Uh, but the rear, the sports bar on the back, uh, I didn't have that last time. The tub liner is now sprayed on. The previous tub liner was um, was a insert, like a plastic insert. Uh, this is the only concern, this plastic piece here, um, because this is obviously going to fade. We're up in North Queensland, so stuff fades very quickly. Um, so that will fade over time, and obviously these plastics will fade as well, but I always find this very weird that they put these on a lot of the cars. Um, not just the LDV, but a lot of other models as well are doing the same thing. Uh, just getting their brand out there, I guess, but I find it unnecessary. Now, if we move into the interior, turn that key off. Uh, no push button key, so still a key entry. Uh, door cards are the same, we just got the windows tinted, obviously. Uh, the previous door cards used to be complete plastic. This one's got a vinyl little rest there, so how long that lasts, whether it cracks over time, I don't know. Uh, nice little highlighted insert here as well. Uh, all the same through here. If we just step inside. Uh, steering wheel, leather, sporty steering wheel uh, with the flat bottom as well. Has paddle shift gears, which I find unique for a uh, four-wheel drive. My favorite cup holders on the side there. I don't know why every car doesn't have that. Um, moving to the center console uh, touchscreen. Uh, oh, car's not even on. Touch screen, there you go. Uh, Aircon is down here. Small shifter, which I find very handy. Uh, nothing worse than a big, tall shifter. Uh, easy access buttons. Dial four wheel drive. Uh, just like that. Uh, same on the side. Nothing really too complicated in here. So we'll flick it on. Listen to that baby roar. Uh, so 502 kilometers now. Let's go to the back. Again. 
So me, I'm five foot 10, five foot 11. That's me in the front seat. I haven't moved that seat. This is the rear as well. So plenty of room in the rear, especially when you got other adults or if you're a tradie, you need uh, tools, I guess. There's you know tons of room in the back. I think I'll get seat covers this time because um, the previous ones, the seat, the front seat on the side, the front cushion was crinkled up and um, that was showing a bit of wear over time, but yeah. Nothing too spectacular back here, but it doesn't need to be. It's 30 grand, right? This ticks the boxes. Now, I know you guys are gonna be laughing because the first day I went to pick it up, the, I grabbed the keys, put the key into the ignition, turned the car on, and as I was talking to the lady I bought it off, I noticed there was an engine light. What the? That's weird. Now the engine light came on and um, I had to drive it to the service center. So this car had 100 Ks on it. Picked it up, drove it straight to the service center. I know you guys are laughing already because haha ha LDV. Um, drove it to the service center, the service center ran this tool through it and the water pump was faulty, didn't engage from the start. They put a new one in um, and got me back on the road the next day. And that was last week. Uh, windows got tinted today and what is going on? Maybe that beeping is telling me that the car's not locked, I'm guessing. Uh, but I know how to turn that off, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, the engine light came on straight away. Let's hope it doesn't come on again, but a seven year warranty. Um, I think if this was your only car and you needed the car for that day, you'd be heavily upset, but you guys know me, nothing really faces me. So I just took it in and got it fixed and things happen. No big deal, it's just a car. Uh, cars are going to have problems. Anyone that works in the car industry know that lots of cars across lots of different manufacturers have lots of lots of problems. Uh, that's just the, that's just the beauty of cars, unfortunately. And this one will be no different. So fingers crossed. Um, no other issues from here, and we'll report back in I don't know 10,000 Ks or six months, three months. We'll see what happens, and uh, give you a rundown of uh, any other issues we may have. Another LDV, boys.